You left so many reds behind. You need to understand this game requires a very basic skill. And the basic skill that it requires is counting to 10. Okay? Once you've counted all the way to 10, it would actually be better for you if you couldn't count to 11 because you can't take any more after that. I did all the damn work. I did all the work. Did you see that? It's a dolphin dive. Things we should not have done at all. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. That's very funny. You can't be too upset about that. I respect that. Oh. <sighs> Far. By the way, mm. oh. Oh, sorry, sorry. The thought of an adult man coming home from working in like the U.S. defense industry and making this for himself while he watches some fucking horrible TV show with a laugh track and just doing that for like 30 years every day until he dies makes me want to crawl in a hole and die myself, quite frankly. <laughs> this is the ideal build? Really? This is what they say in the YouTube videos? What's up? It's your boy, Rumble Pete. Don't get left out in the cold. The ring is on the move. A lot of people have come out with some very troubling allegations about my behavior in the past recently. I just like to say, <laughs> we've come a long way. <laughs> no, that's that bothers me. That bothers me. That bothers me. Oh! Oh, dude! I looked up just in time. That's a good gamer. No, I'm not gonna start my daughter on One Piece so that she has a chance to finish it. Like that's just most people. I have to imagine discover anime um, because their parents got them like a computer when they were in middle school, but then they were like a little too busy to constantly supervise them. And that's how they discovered anime is just like, you know, look, looking for some community online and that's fine. I'm instead just going to be there for her. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's, it's a joke. It's a joke, Howard, it's a joke. Check this out. Put me in the clip. Put my ass in the motherfucking clip. <laughs> the Alt F4. Honestly, maybe the only time I would ever look at an Alt F4 and be like, you know what? That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you have to find your basal metabolic rate plus augmented by a factor based on your activity. Find your sister's basal metabolic rate augmented based on her activity. Then you need to look at the calorie count of the meal. Because if you guys are eating a 2,000 calorie dinner and it's split evenly, you don't need half of her dinner to supplement because you're both eating too fucking much. Similarly speaking, if it's a 200 calorie meal, you should each be getting half of it because you're at like starvation rations, okay? So there's only a very narrow subset of meals where it would actually be relevant that the taller person needs to get more food. Because you're living in a country where you're posted on Reddit and this is what's bothering you in your life instead of like, I need medicine or food or water or, or like a house or something like that, I'm gonna assume that you live in a world of relative abundance where meeting your caloric daily requirements is not an issue, in which case, why are you getting in your own fucking way by starting arguments with family over who gets the bigger piece of salmon? Here's my position. I don't know enough about the royal family to, to have a real opinion. I think it is kind of crazy that there's like a family that gets a, is basically just paid by the taxpayers to be rich. And also like technically they have the final assent to every like law in a democratic nation. But I also live in a commonwealth nation where I'm like, 
people are always like, what's it like to have a queen? Or I guess like a, to be under the monarchy. And I'm like, literally, like it doesn't matter. It, we, it, all it means is that we're, we're just sending, we're, we're just keeping the stamp industry afloat. Because every time we pass a law, we got to be like, hey, um, Her Majesty, well, how do you feel about this one? And then I imagine she's just got like a stamp or something like that. That's like, sure, whatever. I just, I want to check them just to make sure. Because different, um, you know, different countries have different standards for nudity, essentially. The Eastern European posters go pretty hard. Okay, let's try. I'm not saying they're perverts. I'm just saying they could... Uh, quite the opposite. If anything, I think North Americans are perverts. It's like if a woman bears her breasts, they're like, holy cow, put those things away. What are you trying to do? Give me a big old boner? I feel like in Europe, they're like, they're just naked. That's my perception, at least. Is that like, this is just, oh, sorry, I just have to like change my shirt. In North America, they're like, Hey, hey, put a shirt on and pick up this handgun and then uh, kill this person execution style. This movie's for kids. Just came back, he's still stunlocked. I'm not, we didn't, we're not still stunlocked. We didn't talk about it for 45 minutes and then I had a great opportunity to bring it back and, and make everybody happy. And then you showed up and went, he's still talking about this? Now I'm stunlocked talking about you, idiot. <laughs> It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're, we're all part of the same Sisyphusian mountain, okay? I'm Sisyphus. You're the damn rock. Every day it gets heavier trying to push you up the Pog Mountain. Oh, I don't, I, I, I don't want to Pog. I don't want to Pog. Too bad. I'm Pogging you. I'm Pogging you. And the next day we start all over again at, in Resident Sleeper Valley. Only the rock's gotten even heavier. But you know what? That's okay. Because I've gotten even stronger. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> you wouldn't like me when I'm fucked with. I hate you. I thought that was going to work. What is this? That scene in Endgame where all the female protagonists get together to kick the shit out of Thanos? Hold on, I got a great idea. How about a mist? How about a javelin tackle? How about we start that process over from zero? How about we do it again? You should uninstall your game. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. They're on 180. I would like put her in the crib, I would leave the room, and then I would be like, oh shit. What if um, there's a mild earthquake and a book falls off the bookshelf and lands on a stuffed animal and pushes the stuffed animal onto her face and she suffocates, right? Like that, that's where my head was at. Now that she's basically two, I've relaxed a little bit, but like, <laughs> this... There were a lot of days where I, I woke up and I was like, oh, she should be crying by now. I guess she died. I guess she died in the night. And then you just sort of like sit there for a bit and be like, well, I'm just going to enjoy this little period before I have to face that. And then you wait, like you maybe like brush your teeth and then you go into the room and she's just chilling and you're like, oh, never mind. 